And so, you know, for someone who's gone through my own journey over, oh my God, we just hit over 33 years ago, a terminal cancer diagnosis where standard of care did not have anything to offer for me. It was too far gone. It was too missed. Understandably, you know, in fairness, what 19 year old in 1991 were you expecting to see a terminal ovarian cancer diagnosis? Like that talk about the unicorn. We talk about that in medicine all the time, right? I mean, that would have been an absolute zebra unicorn of that time and era. In fact, just so your listeners have a sense, you know, a lot of people might know the BRCA gene is like the Angelina Jolie gene. And some people hear they have BRCA and they freak out. And, you know, there's definitely a higher incidence type of pattern. But what people don't understand is a BRCA mutation is just simply a mutation of how our body repairs our DNA. It doesn't repair it as well as the average show but it impacts less than 5% of all breast cancer or you know other cancers in general. It's less than 5% of the population have that particular genetic hiccup. Mm-hmm. The other side is that genetic hiccup has zero impact on the overall survival. And so people have this assumption that it's somehow way more dangerous and way more life-taking, and yet it isn't. And so this is one of those opportunities of where I start to teach and educate about my philosophical understanding is that there's a lot of things we can do to support our body's ability to protect and, and clean up its DNA, you know, and support the repair, which you just alluded to.